How's it going guys? Kevin Clapes here and welcome to Subnautica Below Zero. So in this guide, I'm going to show you where to find the Cara bacteria antidote and what is required to get it. Okay, so we're going to be covering two scenarios. We're going to be covering a trip from the frozen Leviathan and a trip from very near Lipod. And then it covers both points and you'll know exactly where it is. Now, in order to get there, starting location will not be from the drop pod for each game the drop pod starts at a different location now there's three uh, drop pod locations in total so the distance and directions i give you will be inaccurate if i start from my drop pod therefore we're going to start from this formation here directly underneath it you can't really miss it it's just going to be north of your light pod just near where the mountain is um, and there's no other formation like it okay so we're gonna wake up make our way over there okay I do recommend you put a beacon at the starting location that way you know how far you've come if you ever need to watch any of my guides then you know exactly where to start from okay we're gonna be doing this in the sea truck you will need depth module mark one for the sea truck um, for your own person you will need the cold suit ideally it's not paramount but possibly need it but you will certainly need the spy pengling um, and that is pretty much it I do advise you take a couple of flares with you just in case uh, and I'll go into that why shortly but where we're going to be going from the site location is directly southwest it's a distance of approximately 1200 meters now there are there is a cave network that we're going to be entering this takes you to the entrance of the cave network there's a number of ways to get to the glacial uh, bay or glacial basin uh, one is through the bay where the, there is a dock there and then this is the other route and it'll take you straight there so follow me guys and as i mentioned keep going southwest directly there is really nothing to worry about the only fauna you need to worry about is the snow stalker which does around about 25 damage to the person to the player uh, so do be careful of that one okay through the kelp forest that's a kelp forest and just keep on going uh, what you should see now is these large iceberg formations you know you're on the right path and then very very soon we will start to see some eye jellies now these guys do around about 10 damage now it's pretty minimal but they can stack up where we're going it's pretty can be pretty tight so you could get a few hits so do make sure your sea truck is fully repaired before you venture out okay so this is it guys this is where we're going to be going now you've gone directly southwest what you should see is these small openings underneath we're just going to go through keep on going avoiding the eye jellies at all costs and then you're not really going to be going any further down then around about 220 to 30 meters and then you're going to start working your way up okay now there's a number of turns just keep on going up you'll see left turns keep coming up all the time and even right turns just keep going to the top and then always do a left and then it should start to increase again start to elevate you're working your way out for you guys just keep on following it to the end of the path and then once you come to this end here do a right and then make your way through and straight up guys and you're gonna be surfacing here as I mentioned just be careful of the snow stalkers uh, when you get out use flares flares around it they will scare them away which is ideal and what you should see is a ramp keep 
Get out of here. And just so we can see it properly, I'm going to turn fog and weather off. Okay, so now what you're looking for, you see this skeletal structure here. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be going just underneath that. There's this little spy pengling cave here. Okay, at this point, you're going to deploy spy pengling. And take him through. Just be really careful with this. It can get a little bit tricky sometimes. Last thing you want to do is fall off. And there it is, guys. The antidote. Sam must have stashed this here. That's it, guys. So I'm going to now take you from the frozen Leviathan and we're going to make our way from that point. Okay, guys. Now we're going to be starting from the frozen Leviathan. So we're going to make our way out of the cave. Same way you came in. Um, through and out. Now, at this point, I do recommend you have flares. You're going to need them. It's going to help you scurry away those snow stalkers. But just keep on working your way out of here. Okay, so once you've exited the cave, what you want to be doing then is turn right. So you're facing south. You'll see the little tech over there. Just aim for that direction. Uh, I'm going to get the flare just in case. And then what you're going to be doing is effectively following this river. Frozen river. And then you'll see two cave entrances. That one where the river goes to and then this one next to it. You go to this one next to it. Go in there and go between southeast and south. Just make your way through it. Keep on going. And you've come out now and what you're looking for is skeletal remains there. You're going to head to that direction. And here you've got the spy pengling cave where you'll send your spy pengling. So that's it guys, I've covered two waypoints, one from the frozen Leviathan and two from the ocean uh, near the drop pod, uh, which should give you a good indication on where, where it is. But that's it, hope you liked the video, remember, subscribe, like and comment. Ciao for now, bye bye.